using Blazor, you can use C-sharp programming to do what typically requires front-end JavaScript frameworks like Angular, React or Vue.js. But what if you are working on a legacy MVC application and you want to add Blazor to your project? Typically, you will think that you need to create a new project using Blazor, but that is not true. You can add the power of Blazor to your existing MVC application using .NET 8. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you enjoy free video in the .NET world and Blazor, make sure to subscribe to the channel, that way you will be notified when I release a new video. But let me go back to the main topic on how we can add Blazor to MVC application. There are few configuration changes that we have to do in the MVC project and then we can use Blazor components. Let me walk you through all of them. Let me go back to Visual Studio here and let me create a new MVC project. Let me call that Blazor in MVC and let me create that. We do not want any authentication type. That looks good. We are using the .NET 8 here. And let me wait. Perfect. MVC project is up and running. Now how do we add Blazor component in an MVC application? That is the question. Because I am using .NET 8 here, if you right click on the project here, add, let me create a new folder and call that components. In that component, we will create a Razor component and you can see when I click add here, we have Razor component. Razor components are basically Blazor component, but that is the name that is being used. So let me create a component here and I will call that Lucky Number Generator. Razor components will end with a dot razor here. Let me add that and perfect. We have created our Razor component. Now when I talk about Razor component, they are not Razor pages. They are basically Blazor component. So whatever is related to Blazor, you will see it will have an extension of dot .Razor. Our Blazor code will go inside this add code, but let me add some HTML here. I will add a BR tag. And then let me add a horizontal line here. After that, I will add a div. Give it a class of text success. We already have bootstrap integrated here. It will be an h3. Perfect. And let me call that as title. In order to see the real power of Blazor, let me create a button here. And we will use the on click event in Blazor to call a method generate number. For the class here, let me give it a bootstrap class of btn, btn dark. Let me give it a text of generate lucky number. Perfect, our Blazor component is coming along. Now what I want to do is on click of this button, I want to generate a random number. In the code block here, let me create an integer, call that as lucky number. We will have the getter and setter and let me default that to be zero. When we are displaying here, we can use blazor power here and we can say if lucky number is greater than zero, only then in a paragraph here, we will display that. Let me give it padding two and we will say lucky number is at sign lucky number. That way when the component initially loads, it will not display this lucky number. When a user will click on the button, we will generate a lucky number. But for that we need to create this method. But for that we have to create the method here. So let me do that private void. Copy the method name to avoid any spelling mistake there. And there we will use a random rnd is equal to new. And we can say lucky number is equal to rnd dot next. We want a number between 1 and 100. 
that looks good for our blazor component but the main question is how will we integrate this component in our mvc application we need to include blazor in our project for that we have to go to views shared underscore layout that is the master page and if you scroll down where you have the javascript here you need to add a script tag and the src will be underscore framework blazor.server.js in the framework we already have blazor server so if you write that script here it will automatically add that to your project now right now we have only added the javascript but we have not added that in our services we have to do that in program.cs in the services here we will say builder.services.add server site blazor and then where we have the routing here we will say app dot map blazor hub that way it will be able to do the routing for blazor components and that is all the configuration now let's say the component that we added for lucky number we want to use that on the home page let me open home index and we want to load that right here we will do that here using add sign we will say await html dot render component async and then we need the name of the component now right now if you write lucky number here you can see it is not detecting that we have to write the complete path so that is inside blazor in mvc we have the folder of components and there we have the lucky number generator along with that we also have to define a render mode here we will be using server pre-render there are multiple ways to render the component but we are using the server pre-render and i believe that is all that was needed let me run the application and see if blazor is working in our mvc project perfect we have our blazor component here and that is looking great but if i click on the button here you will notice nothing happens we are supposed to generate a lucky number here on the button click but if you add a debugging point here you will notice it does not even hit that breakpoint the reason behind that is in order for blazor component to work we have to add a using statement here and that is microsoft dot aspnet core dot components dot web if that is present here and if we restart the application then everything should work as expected let me hit the button here and perfect you can see it is generating a lucky number every time and that is working as expected with that we have added blazor component in mvc but in all the blazor components we do not want to add the same using statement for that in the components here let me stop the application we can add a global razor component that will have all the using statement name of that must be underscore imports we will remove everything here and there let me cut the using statement paste that along with that you can add even more using statements that are commonly used in blazor components and with that if you run the application everything will work automatically because you have named it underscore imports you do not have to mention it anywhere it will automatically use those using statement and perfect you can see the lucky numbers are being generated with that we have seen how to easily integrate blazor components in an mvc application but let me show you one more thing here what if the title here you want to pass that as a parameter from the index page i can easily pass that here let me break it out in separate line and after the render mode we can pass parameters you can see the t model is parameters here so let's say i want to pass new and a parameter of title call that lucky number generator that is the title in our component let me open that we need to bind that parameter 
we will create a string here call that as title and we will say parameter that way it will automatically bind this title as long as the name are matching the default one here let me set that to be string dot empty and perfect where we are displaying the title here let me use the add sign that way we will use the variable here and not a hard coded value let me run the application and see if that works and perfect our parameter has passed successfully the reason i wanted to show that is typically when you integrate blazor in an mvc application you will have to pass a model a view model or a complex object you can easily pass them as a parameter but be careful if the object that you are passing here is super complex like i had a situation where one model had like 100 different view models in that and it was a pretty complex object now this is not a day-to-day -day scenario but i had a situation where it was a super large object that i was passing as a parameter to the blazor component it did not work because basically it will have to do that computation and send that over and i believe it was exceeding the limit because of that while rendering it threw an error in the console window so 99% of the times for small models or even mid-size models or view models you will not face any issue now the workaround for that was basically from that view model i extracted only those properties that were needed for the blazer component and then everything would work perfectly fine because i was removing all the unnecessary things that were there in the legacy mvc application but i wanted to point that out that way you have that in back of your mind i hope you enjoyed the free video make sure to like the video leave a comment and if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure to do that that way you will be notified when i release the next video till then happy coding